G'day guys, back again. We have got a 2012 Range Rover Evoque that uh, is coming for an intermittent um, overheating. Uh, it's only happened a couple of times. Um, the customer said that at the times that it did happen was when the vehicle was idling for a long time and they first noticed when they were lining up for a uh, COVID test. So uh, obviously the lines are very big there. So this would have been idling, standing still for a while. So the fact that it only does it at idle probably leads us towards thinking it might be a, um, a cooling system fan issue intermittent. So we've just got the eye scan connected up. And the first thing we're gonna do is a pre-scan and let's see what we get. So I'll bring up the pre-scan and then we'll go from there. Okay, the pre-scan is done and check it out look at our second code there p0692 fan one control circuit high so i think that's the code that we're going to be chasing not going to worry about the rest of it uh, the vehicle is not exhibiting any other faults other than that so what i might do is just clear the codes see if any, anything comes back i'll run it up see if i can get it to overheat and check out what's going on with the fan system okay here we are guys we are at uh, roughly operating temperature and as we can see on the scan tool we've got live data engine cooling temperature 99 degrees and we've got our data pit for the pulse width modulation control of the module on the uh, on the fans at the front there as you can see it's about 93 percent now um, so obviously our fans should be working so before I actually got this up, I took the liberty of just connecting the scope up to the three main wires that obviously um, go to that module. So the, the main power, the main ground, and the PWM control for the module. So I'll go out there and show you, and then we'll see if we can um, see what's going on with the fans. So as you can see, our three wires there at the moment, probably can't get you in there properly, but our fans are not working at all. No fan operation at all on either of them. So I'm gonna go back in the car, uh, we're gonna get the data pids back on and we're gonna look at uh, the scope So as you can see, we've got our uh, our PWM signal at the top here on the scan tool, 4.71% roughly, and as you can see on the scope in our lower left hand corner, we've got our uh, PWM uh, measurement there, and you can see it's roughly around the same, and uh, we've got no operation, obviously it's a very low PWM signal, so let me just turn the fans up, straight away we go to 94%, Scope goes to 94%. As you can see, uh, we've got our main power and ground working. Our red channel is the power, and the ground side of that red channel is on the ground side of the ground to the module. So clearly we've got an intact circuit. We've got power and ground to there. We've also got a PWM signal, so there is no reason why our fans shouldn't be working. So now we need to determine, is it the module that's faulty? or is it the fans themselves? The chances of them both failing at the same time is pretty low, it's probably gonna be the module, but let's get uh, underneath and let's get onto the connectors and let's see what's going on. Okay, we are getting quite hot now. Uh, it's not far from overheating, so uh, we're at 94% still. So let's go out, I've connected up the green channel to the scope. As you can see, our fans are still not working. Now I have got the green channel hooked up to the power and ground of the output to the main fan. And I'll start up the scope. As you can see, our green channel is staying at zero volts. We are connected 100%, as you can see, connect the effect at the bottom. Uh, green channel is staying at zero volts even we, when we are getting command uh, to the actual module itself. So there's no output from the module. So this is a dead control module. We're going to get a new module in. 
we're going to put it back in and then we're going to re-monitor the same results. Okay, sad news guys, this customer actually has an extended warranty, so uh, they are more than likely going to cover the replacement. Uh, so I've just parked it back outside, um, and unfortunately this is the end of the video, so well, at least we got the diagnosis done, we know what it needed, and um, apparently you couldn't get the module separately, you have to get the whole fan and module assembly as one piece. Very, very expensive, as you could imagine this little Range Rover so um, that's where we're at guys uh, hopefully the diagnosis was easy to follow it's a relatively simple one too um, and thanks for watching we'll see you next time